Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to do a little bit of uh, polynomial uh, equation modelling for some, uh, some curves. So this is GeoGebra and uh, I will start off by inserting an image into my document here. Now this is one that I uh, selected uh, for your task. You can select any image that you really like. Now I'm just going to move this around a bit. And with the image uh, selected, I'll do a right click on the image to bring up the settings menu. And on the color tab, I can reduce the opacity of the image a bit so I can see the grid through there. Now, this isn't quite where I want it. I'm sorry, that's moving the whole frame, that tool there. This one here is to move the selected object around on the background. So the curve that I'm interested in modelling, I'm not going to do all of them, there's far too many. The curve I'm interested in will start here from the, the diver's armpit, run along the front of their body, along the leg, curve around here on the foot and down here to the corner of their fin. So that's the curve that I want to model. We'll see how well I do. And uh, I want to make sure that that curve in has some x-intercepts. It's going to make my life much easier. As long as it's got, let's see, there's one, two, three points along my curve of interest which will touch the x-axis. That's good. I want three points if I want to do a third degree, uh, three intercepts, I'm sorry, three x-intercepts if I want to do a third degree. Now I can zoom up a bit to make my life easier. That's good. And let's just move the whole thing into the frame. There we are. So let's put some data points. These two data points here, A and B, those are the anchor points for where the image is. We don't really need to see them on our image. They still exist, of course, in the memory of the computer. Now that's good. I can see pretty much the whole thing from start to finish. This toolbar here allows me to place points. So I'll put one point here, which is the first x-intercept, another one here, the next x-intercept, both of them turned out to be zeros, that's nice, and another one here, oh it's not quite zero, so I'll have to adjust. Now I want to just use the wheel on my mouse there to zoom on in, and use this cursor to move the data point. So there it is. That's pretty good. That looks like it's on the boundary between the red and the white section. It's pixelating, of course, so it's going to take a little bit of little bit of judgment, a little bit of guesswork, but it's definitely a zero value for the y coordinate, which is what I need for an x-intercept, of course. So just move the whole thing back. There we go. So I've got my three x-intercepts. So uh, the coordinates of these points are 1, 3.4, and 4.88. So I'll just pop over and write that down. The first one was 1, 0. Now I can't remember what it was. Three point four and 4.88. Here we go. See if I can remember them. 3.4 and 4.88. Nice. So here I am starting to form the cubic equation, the third degree polynomial, and I'm writing it in uh, the form where the x-intercepts, of course, would take the values of B, C, and D. That's exactly why I picked the moved the logo around until I had three of those values. So the first term here would be x take 1, then the next one would be x take 3.4, and the last term would be x take 4.88. The question now becomes, what's the value of a? Uh, well, let's go back to GeoGebra for a minute. We will need a fourth data point. And the fourth data point, 
I'm going to pick one that is not obviously on the x-axis. So it could be anywhere from here all the way down to here, anywhere along this curve. Now I'll pick one that's fairly convenient. I think that one will do. Let's just zoom up to see how well I did with placing that. Looks nicely on the boundary between the red and the white, which is the curve I'm trying to match. And it's not a particularly nice pair of numbers, but it is 4.390.57. So our last data point, 4.390.57. And what will I do with that? Well, give myself a bit of room to type here. I will substitute that last data point into my existing equation. Substitute that. Here we go. So my equation would read, well, instead of y, it would read 0 0.57. We don't know the value of a. And each of these terms, x minus 1, x minus 3.4, sorry, try that again, x now has a number, x is 4.39, 4.39 minus 1, 4.39 minus 3.4 for the second term, and 4.39 minus 4.88 for the third term. So I would simplify 0 0.57 equals A times. Uh, the first term would be 3.39. We'll try that again. The next one would be 0 0.99 and the last one oh what have I done it's going to be negative 0 0.49 I hope I did that right it was all in my head then I really should check that shouldn't I if we want to do this we want to make sure it's right no, I'm very confident on the first one uh, this one here, not a problem, 0.6 plus that. Let's just do this one, 4.39 minus 4.88. Oh, what have I done? Hey, I got it. Now, let's do the, uh, the value of A then. A would equal 0 0.57 over these three terms. And I'm definitely not going to do that one in my head. typed all those nicely and here is oh I lost it uh, I would call that zero negative 0 0.347 negative 0 0.347 so what is our model what is our oh I did it again I keep hitting the wrong thing sorry about that folks so what is the model that we're going to call? Our model is going to be the function of x equals negative 0 0.347 and the first term is x minus 1. The second term is x minus 3.4 and the third term is x minus 4.48. That's my equation that I think will do a nice job of modelling the data points that I selected. So let's go back and check. I can type my function here f of x. 
equals negative 0 0.347 x minus 1 hmm what was the next one 3.4 and 4.48 x minus 3.4 and x minus 4.48 4.88 I've typed the wrong thing 4.88 that's better oh, and I accidentally placed another data point over there that I didn't need so I'll get rid of that now has my my third degree polynomial modelled or matched the four data points that I selected Yes, it has, as it must. Has it done a good job of modelling my intended curve, which runs from the armpit along the body, along the front of the leg, and around the corner of the fin? Not such a great fit, is it? Because look at this great big, uh, this very deep minimum here, which is nowhere near. However, that's uh, a first approximation, a first attempt at modelling this curve, and I chose to do an algebraic solution. So. That's what all this bit is about, the algebraic solution. I've recorded my observations, I've set up the model, I've substituted in the intercepts. That's why I was very careful to make sure that the curve I'm interested in touched the x-axis at three points. So it's a little bit uh, strategic the way I placed that. Then I've found an extra data point, which is the fourth one, to calculate the value of A, and there's my model nicely done. The model matches the four points. Of course it doesn't match my intended curve because I would need a lot more data points to actually get that done. But that's enough of an intro for now.